Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining the call today. My name is Chinmay Bhavani Shankar, and I am part of the U.S. Partner Experience Team here at Microsoft. The call today will is a part of a series of competency attainment calls. Um, I talk about each cloud competency and break it down and talk about the benefits and requirements so that we can focus on one competency and the requirements and some of the resources associated with it. So today we will be talking about the cloud customer relationship management competency, cloud CRM competency. This is going to be an acronym free call, so I will try to explain all the acronyms as much as possible um, going through the slides. If you see anything that you do not understand, please don't hesitate to ask. Joining me today are members of the MPN support team and also our subject matter expert here at Microsoft for CRM Online, Janet Carr. To go over the agenda really quickly, the, the format of the calls have been very similar. So I will go over the Microsoft Partner Network, the membership options, action pack subscription, and give you an overview of all the cloud competencies. We will then go over the competency requirements for all the competencies in general and for the cloud CRM competency specifically. And the same with benefits, where I talk about core benefits and the incremental benefits you get with this particular competency. And at the very end, we'll talk about the resources and uh, Janet will also have some opinions and um, insight to give in terms of what resources are most useful to you. And I'll open it up to Q&A at the very end. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to type it out and I will get to them as we get through the call or at the very end. And for everyone who's been on some of these calls before, bear with me for some of the same stuff in terms of membership options and um, requirements, but it's, it's kind of a common theme and a common structure, and we'll put in Cloud CRM competency when we talk about that particularly in terms of requirements and benefits. The Microsoft Partner Network empowers you with the expertise you need to serve your customers with the opportunities you seek to strengthen your capabilities and tools to ensure that you are profitable. Of course, it also connects you to communities um, and connects you with other partners to push the boundaries of innovation. Now, through this, we aim to ensure that you can increase your customer connections as you take on the market. When you join the Microsoft Partner Network, you receive a set of core benefits that can help you save time and money while you strengthen your capabilities, while you better serve your customers and you build connections to reach your full business potential. Whether you are an individual looking for information or you're trying to see what's going on in the cloud world, or you're a small business looking for support, or an established company looking to differentiate your business, our partner program offers membership options that cater to what you need. You can sign up as a network member, which is free, and you have access to training and support and some of the resources. You can also buy an action pack subscription and that adds on to benefits of a network member in that it gives you access to internal use rights and additional support. And over the years, we've taken feedback from a lot of our partners about the Microsoft Action Pack subscription, and we've set it up for auto renewal, we've improved the enrollment experience and removed the assessment that used to be a requirement. Now, the third membership option that is available to you is competency, and that's what we'll be talking about today. All competencies have two levels, silver and gold, and you can obtain them by taking certification exams, meeting sales performance requirements, obtaining customer references, and paying fees where applicable. While silver competencies represent consistent capability, expertise, and commitment, gold competencies demonstrate best-in-class capability within a specific Microsoft solution area. Now, partners can earn both gold or silver competency in any one of the 28 areas that include cloud, on-premise, and hybrid cloud capabilities. Now, with a competency, you get incremental internal use right benefits, support, and advisory hours. 
Competencies are, of course, a great way to demonstrate to current and potential customers both the scope of your expertise and the depth of your experience. The competencies have been improved over time, and most recently, we've lower, lowered the thresholds for a quicker achievement. Of the 28 competencies, there are five cloud competencies, as you can see. Two for Office 365, which is cloud productivity and small and mid-market cloud solutions, which we've already gone over. One for Microsoft Azure, which is the cloud platform competency. Uh, we tackled that last week. And this week, we're going to be talking about the cloud customer relationship management competency, which is based on the product Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And of course, there is the enterprise mobility management competency, which Enterprise Mobility Suite. Now, if you're not yet ready for a competency, then you can stick to the Action Pack subscription. So, for less than 500 US dollars, you can get the new and improved Action Pack loaded with tools and solutions to help you learn more and grow faster. With Action Pack enrollment, you automatically get access to internal use rights, which now include Windows 10 Enterprise Upgrade, Enterprise Mobility Suite, Office 365 E3, and Azure Monthly Credits. <coughs> Moving on to the competency requirements. Every competency, the requirements are broken down into four specific buckets, which is customer evidence, certifications, performance, and fees. We will dive deeper into each one of these, but we want you to demonstrate your experience by giving us some customer references. So for silver, there we require about three references, and for gold, we require five references. We want, to we want you to demonstrate your expertise um, by completing required technical assessments or exams or certifications, depending on the competency. And also, we want you to demonstrate your partnership with Microsoft by meeting the sales performance requirements. Now, all of these are sp different for each competency, and that's why we're tackling uh, the requirements for each competency separately so that it is simpler. And in terms of fees, there's only one fee due, and for silver, it is $1,660, and for gold, it is $3,940. Customer evidence. So in order to get a customer reference, um, you'll have to follow some three steps. So first, you'll have to request a reference from your customer through the Partner Membership Center. So this is where you, um, you handle and manage your membership, which is at the Partner Membership Center. Sign in to the Partner Membership Center, and from the Requirements and Assets menu in the Partner Membership Center, click Create Customer Reference. In the Select Location field, you'll click the down arrow, select a location for which to create and submit a reference. And from here, you will need to click Select and fill out the customer and project details. So this was step one. You requested a reference uh, from your customer through the Partner Membership Center. Step two is to notify your customer uh, to make sure that they fill out the reference. So the customer needs to know what to look out for. Once you actually request a reference, Microsoft sends an email and you can uh, to your customer and you can review a sample customer reference email. So you can tell your customer, hey, look out for this. This is what um, Microsoft will be sending you. And they can then click on the link to go in and fill out the reference. So sometimes Microsoft may not contact all of your submitted reference. Um, and some of these may be auto approved. So, and then check, step three would be um, to check in the Partner Membership Center and make sure that your requirement is fulfilled. And once approved, the customer reference is valid for two years, and after which point you'll have to renew it. For certifications um, and exams, again, every competency has a different set of requirements, and there are some options. So you can either, you have an option of this exam or this exam or a list of exams that you can choose one or two from. Your organization can attain multiple competencies. So if you have employees or contractors um, that 
have already a couple have already completed a couple exams then um, and they're eligible for multiple silver and gold competencies you can count those exams toward attaining those multiple silver or gold competencies I would like to point out that Microsoft Partner Learning Paths is an invaluable resource to find details about these exams. It not only shows you what exams and assessments you need to complete, but it also has training that can help you prepare for these exams. So I highly recommend that. Performance. Again, every competency has a different set of performance requirements and um, based on what your business model is, choose the competency and choose uh, which kind of requirement to fulfill. Performance assessment also is shifting from seats sold to active usage and consumption. Um, just something to keep in mind. Um, we're moving towards that. And also, you will need to be partner of record to apply your Microsoft Dynamics CRM online deployments towards your cloud competency. So your customer will have to indicate that you are the partner of record. Um, and unless that happens, you will not get credit for that and be able to uh, use that towards your competency. <clears throat> Sean, uh, you're asking, are the learning paths different than what is in the new Partner University? I believe the Partner University has a lot of training, but I would also, um, I think for the competencies in particular, the exams are listed in the learning paths, so they're almost complementary to each other, so I would look at both of them. And Lawrence, you're asking any offers of discounts or free exam fees for partners. Um, some of these offers do go up from time to time. Uh, I'm not sure we have anything available right now. So um, I would just keep an eye out if you are planning on taking any exams and some of these offers come up. Uh, they There will be discounts, I think, um, there have been um, offers like the second shot, uh, which used to, I think it's expired already, uh, but you can take a second shot at an exam if you couldn't get through in the on the first time. So um, I'll just, I would keep my ears open for um, any other discounts coming up. Yes, Sean. Um, so Partner University is new, uh, but Partner Learning Paths still exists. So Learning Paths did not get uh, replaced by Partner University. Thank you, Arnold, for the link about the promotions and discounts. Moving on for digital partner of record, um, it automates how you are attached as the partner of record for the subscriptions that you are actively managing. Again, um, if you have your customers, make sure that you are listed as the partner of record and digital partner of record uh, makes that process easier. And you can get more information when you actually go to the page uh, for a digital partner of record. And Myra, thank you for that um, explanation. Uh, for learning paths are for you to be able to assign the assessments located within uh, the partner university to your employees and track their progress. So yes, the two are complementary. For fees, again, one fee is due one time per year, no matter how many additional competencies your organization earns. Um, I talked about silver and gold fee. If you have any issues with billing, please contact MPN support and you can look at your support options uh, um, uh, when you log into the partner portal. Make sure you have your MPN ID and your anniversary date in handy when you do contact support to make things quicker.
So for cloud customer relationship management competency in particular, the requirements um, we'll talk about now. For customer evidence, you will need three customer references for silver and five customer references for gold. So the references must be for Microsoft Dynamics, CRM on, Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online, Microsoft Dynamics Marketing, and uh, Microsoft Social Listening or Parature within the last 12 months. So that's when a customer reference would count. For certifications, um, we'll again dive deeper into this in the next couple slides where I talk about uh, the actual exams that you will need to pass. Uh, for silver, two individuals must be certified, whereas for gold, four individuals must be certified. And in terms of performance, for silver, the partner, um, you'll have to deploy or assign 150 seats of Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online, Microsoft Dynamics Marketing, Microsoft Social Listening, or Parature. So 150 seats of um, either one of them or a combination of all of them within the last 12 months. And for gold, you must have deployed or assigned 450 seats um, of the CRM suite. For fees, now for silver, all cloud competencies um, are free or at no cost um, until June 30th, 2016. I would recommend that you make use of this um, offer and get your silver competency if you're anywhere close um, to the performance requirement. And of course, for gold, it is 3,940 uh, US dollars, not including applicable taxes and fees. Going one step further into the exams and certifications, for silver for the cloud customer relationship management competency, you will need two certified individuals. Now one individual must pass exam NB2706, which is Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online Deployment, and one of the two exams, 707 or 703. So that's one individual who should pass two exams, and there's an option for that second exam. And another individual must pass one exam, um, either 704 or 700. So again, two certified individuals, one individual who will pass two exams, and another individual who will pass one other exam. So three unique exams in total to make this simpler. For cloud customer relationship management competency for gold, you will need four certified individuals. Um, again, two individuals must pass exam 706 um, and one of the other 704 or 700, and the other two people must pass one of 707 or 703. So again, four certified individuals and three exams in total. Just to give you a little more information about Digital Partner of Record, um, it associates servicing partners to a Microsoft Cloud subscription and gives you visibility into seat utilization, customer consumption, and usage via Microsoft reports. And um, it qualifies you for silver or gold competency. It qualifies you for incentives uh, where applicable if there are incentive programs going on. And it helps you understand your customer usage much better. So in order to get started, um, ask your customer to log into the subscription admin center, enter your MPN ID as the digital partner of record, and then you will receive an email confirmation. Now, um, please keep in mind that for every subscription, you will have to ask your customer to go in and add you as a partner of record in order to get credit for it. So if you have the same customer with multiple subscriptions, they'll have to add you in multiple times as the partner of record. Let's move over to the benefits now. Again, across all competencies, there are a set of core benefits that enable you to sell, to market, and give you support options, and also help you plan um, your business and the future of your organization as a Microsoft partner. <clears throat> 
you um, will have access to Microsoft Partner Incentives, Payment Solutions, um, Technical Pre-Sales um, Assistance, and in terms of marketing, you'll have access to the Partner Marketing Center and a listing in the Pinpoint Directory, which is a customer to partner marketplace. And also, you will get a specific competency logo. For support, um, partner advisory hours. For silver, you'll get 20 advisory hours. And for gold, you'll get 50 advisory hours. Now, this is a benefit that a lot of partners do not make use of. Partner advisory hours is kind of a consulting service where you can either um, call in and um, talk through a solution that you're thinking about implementing um, with your customer or just uh, plan out what your revenue model would look like. These um, advisory hours are a precious resource, precious benefit that you're paying for as a competency partner. So I, I urge you to make use of that. Product support, um, you will get about 15 incidents for silver and 20 incidents for gold. And of course, as a cloud competency partner, you get unlimited signature cloud support, which is um, so it is support, but then cloud specific, and you have um, cloud experts on the call um, answering your questions. Internal use rights is a big benefit that most of our partners um, are looking for when they get a competency or an action pack subscription. And for silver, you get up to 25 licenses per product. And for gold, you get up to 100 licenses per product. <clears throat> And in terms of incremental benefits, now all of that was just the core benefits that come across um, across all competencies. And in addition to that, you will also get additional internal use um, licenses. About for Visual Studio, you get five licenses and 25 uh, for gold. <clears throat> You'll also get priority placement in Pinpoint and. Um, a Dynamics CRM Online demo tenant as well. So there is some discussion going on in the chat window. Janet, thank you. Um, did you want to explain um, to Chris uh, what you just typed out, just to kind of uh, start that discussion? Sure, thanks. So, Chris, what sometimes happens is, um, you know, particularly in larger companies, there's a partner going in and, and working, um, providing services for a division or a line of business application, and they don't attach themselves. Another partner comes in, they're doing business in a totally different part, but they're going to look and see if that customer has other instances that are open, and if there is not a partner attached, they often will go in and attach themselves to those records. Um, and it really does leave you open to other partners coming in and kind of poaching your business if you don't go through the digital partner record process. It's not that hard to do. It's, um, it's the discipline of getting it set up and making sure that you do it every single time you're deploying an instance on any of the Microsoft products. Thank you, Janet. Um, hopefully that um, explained everything for you, Chris. Um, Brandon, you had a question for admission into the CSP program, which is the Cloud Solution Provider Program. What does Microsoft typically say is a must-have before we are allowed into the program? Janet, do you think you can take this one? Um, I can, and um, you know, the CSP program has been moving a bit. So, are you referring to the direct or the indirect model, Brandon? Yes, for direct, um, they're really looking for a partner that has managed services um, and preferably IP. Um, it's not hard and fast, but it is definitely a couple of the key things that they're looking for in evaluating an application because you do have to apply. Um, they're also looking for partners in the direct model that are capable of deploying about a thousand seats in the first year. And if you're going to be deploying less, they're probably going to suggest that you go look at the indirect model. Um, 
and that the, the direct model is, is again, for more for partners who have some sort of vertical solution, IP, repeatable, scalable, selling large volume. Fabulous. Yeah, I think that sums it up. And uh, Brandon, if you need additional information, please do go to the portal. Um, I think that would be your best source of information for the Cloud Solution Provider Program. And thank you, Myra, for putting up the link in the chat window. Now, um, going back into internal use rights benefit, we talked about benefits and the incremental benefits that you get. Um, specifically for internal use rights, uh, you get licenses for all these uh, products, so Office 365, Azure, and uh, Dynamics CRM Online. If you haven't yet activated them, there was a call series and a blog post that I did where I went um, into each one of these products and talked about how you can activate um, each of these internal use licenses and what you can use that for. So again, we have the support team and subject matter experts come in. So if you want, you can either take a listen to the recorded call and activate your internal use rights as you're listening to the call because it takes you through everything step by step. You can also um, either uh, sign up or activate your um, internal use rights with all the links. So this slide is kind of uh, comprehensive of everything that you would need to activate your internal use rights benefit. Resources. Um, Janet gave some fabulous resources and I've listed them all here. So there's the um, Microsoft Dynamics CRM and CRM online page on the MPN portal which gives you everything you need to know about um, Microsoft Dynamics CRM and online, including partner benefits, licensing options, and resources. Uh, there's also a blog series that the Dynamics CRM team does, so there's the link to that as well. In addition, there is free online technical training for partners until March 31st, 2016. So you can check that out and see um, if you would be interested or have the time to. You have about two months to take any of that technical training, which is absolutely free. Um, Janet, I, will, I know we were discussing this um, a little while ago. Uh, you were talking about why a partner should um, even approach or start using Dynamics CRM online and build a business um, around that. Could you talk more about that? Sure, thanks. So a um, couple of things about CRM. Um, why would you want to build a practice around CRM? And that's because as, as the decision for how to spend budget moves more towards the business decision makers and less towards IT, you really need to be able to offer solutions that are going to help move the business forward. And that's line of business applications. And so people think of CRM and they think of Salesforce automation. And of course, that's a great way to think about um, CRM. But I really think that the larger opportunity for partners is thinking of CRM in what we call XRM, which is a sort of uh, think of it as a development platform. So then the next question is, why would I want to use CRM as a development platform and pay Microsoft a per user per month fee rather than create everything from scratch? Um, and there's a couple of really good reasons for that. Number one reason is time to market. You really can get a solution to the customers much faster. Number two reason is you're not going to end up down a technology dead end. One of the problems with custom app dev is maintaining integration. Um, it's, it's a bit old, um, but I think the number is still probably pretty relevant. And there was a number that was thrown out, I think, by Forrester several years ago that said 70 to 80 percent of existing IT budgets are spent on maintaining existing integrations. So by using CRM as a development platform where anything you create is already security enabled, is already mobility enabled, is already BI enabled, not just today, but in the future, takes a large part of that cost out of that and allows you to do more creative things with IT spend or add money back to the bottom line for the company. So we really think that, that looking at CRM from this aspect, and in fact, I have a partner who 
did a lot of custom app dev work, became a CRM partner, and he's been selling a lot of XRM. And I asked him, I said, how is he doing this? And he says, he goes in there and he does a side-by-side -side cost evaluation. And he, said, and he says, he doesn't mention even the word CRM to a customer. He just says, I can build it on this development platform that Microsoft offers. You pay a per user per month fee for using that development platform to create the solution. But here is the advantage. And when you look at the cost advantage of building it from scratch and then having to maintain all those integrations versus having that done for you and paying a per user per month fee, he has told me that um, customers clearly see that it is less expensive to build line of business applications on top of CRM. So that's one avenue. The other avenue on why CRM is it's a great place to take vertical and create vertical solutions. The whole point of going to the cloud into CSP is about repeatability, scalability, and recurring revenue. And so being able to look at your organization, see where you've had the most success with your existing customers, see where your um, resources have the most value add in terms of being able to add real industry expertise and insights and business process industry insights, and then creating a solution that you can go out and sell over and over and over again and deploy and train off your website, that's really kind of the ideal. Because you have a certain sunk cost but you can actually sit there and do the math and figure out that on X number customer seat ad, everything above that is going to be pretty much all profitability because of the fact that your costs for building the solution have already been paid for from the other customers. And then it's a matter of the incremental supports and updates and things like that. That's really kind of the reason for going to the cloud in the first place. You know, it's, it's not about nuts and bolts. It's not about moving exchange servers. It's not about doing generic Salesforce automation. It's about creating a solution for customers that's going to help them with their business and providing the services, the industry expertise, the, the IP, and then being able to go out and deploy that. The other reason that um, you want to do CRM online and, and that line of business application is that you know, you can go in there and, and, and sell them a project or even sell them Salesforce automation for the first time, but then you can go back in there and say, look, you know, you're not just buying Salesforce automation or just buying CRM. You are build, you are making a decision, a strategic decision to build on a platform that's going to keep you current, that's not going to leave you stuck down some technology dead end, that's going to allow you to take advantage of any of the new technologies that Microsoft's going to develop in the future. That is a really big value add that I don't think most partners point out to customers. Um, and I think that it allows us to compete on what we are, which is a complete platform and business app as opposed to just a, uh, you know, a, a point solution, which is what most of our CRM competitors are. So those are some of the reasons why I think that, you know, a partner should want to be looking at, you know, the cloud and especially uh, CSP for CRM online. Does anyone have any questions about that? I see Chris and Jason were both typing. Um, uh, Brandon, in the meantime, had a question. Um, Condado is a custom dev shop, and we're looking to build functionality into CRM online that is not currently there. Does Microsoft provide any assistance with this example, incentives, or, or funding? Um, we don't have. <clears throat> much funding for developing IP. There is the DX organization, but they don't really cover CRM right now. I'm thinking in 2017 that they might be covering CRM. Um, and then we do have a worldwide strategic program that allows some practice development, which might be able to cover some of that funding. But in order to get in the worldwide CRM online strategic uh, program, you have to be able to commit to some um, steeper numbers um, you know, there are definitive goals within a two-year time period that need to be met. I'd be happy to speak with you more about that if you decide you're interested. We do have a, a team of Dynamics recruiters that work with partners who um, want to make a specific commitment in terms of seats, customer ads, et cetera, within a certain amount of time, um, both within a, um, a, a worldwide named 
um, program as well as the strategic program. And again, I can I can speak more to that if you'd like one off. Yep, Brandon, you can uh, reach out to me on Yammer, um, and I'll connect you. And or I think Janet is also on Yammer, so you can send us a, a direct message with um, any additional questions. Now, Janet, uh, while Chris has been, um, oh, there you go. So for any smaller partners not interested in investing to build a CRM practice but don't want to lose these opportunities, we're happy to partner up so you don't lose the relationship um, to another partner who does offer both. Thank you. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of that P2P coming out, particularly as, as customers start to look for more vertical solutions. So I think that's a, a great idea, you know, for, for um, that Kristen has brought up. We were also talking about uh, licensing models and uh, different options for that, Janet. Could you kind of brief us on that? Um, for the smaller partners or um, in general? In general, for both. Okay. Um, so basically there is um, – there's the competency, which we've been talking about, and then there's something called actually being able to collect CSA fees. So let's just talk about the competency. By having the competency, you can order um, via open or through CSP, both direct and indirect, and be able to collect fees just by attaining the certifications on the competency. There is also um, the ability to order CRM online via the direct model volume licensing, EA agreements. Those, in order to collect fees under those licensing models, you have to have additional assessments slash certifications. So you would need to then have the sales assessment, the pre-sales assessment, and the dynamics implementation methodology in addition to the other exams that are also required for the competency. Gotcha. Thank you. So for through the competency and um, with the open or CSP licensing model, they should be able to get um, get paid fees, correct? That's correct. Thank you. And you can get more information about the licensing options also on the um, CRM and CRM online pages on MPN on the MPN portal. Moving on, uh, just a few things that you might want to read. Um, there were a couple blog posts for NPN 101, which gives you complete guidance to managing your relationship with Microsoft. So it talks about um, all the competency calls, the I internal use right activation call series, and there's also a new partner orientation, which gives you an overview of all the benefits. Um, there was... <clears throat> If you already have a competency and you're looking at renewing it, there's another blog post which gives you tips on renewing your Microsoft competency with some templates that kind of uh, give you the reminder to renew in time. And also, um, Diane Golshan, who's also on my team, put together a fabulous post that um, summarizes everything that you need to know as a US partner for 2016. Brian, um, for downloading this deck, just keep an eye out on Yammer. It will be posted on the NPN 101 Yammer group and um, also in the All Network group. So you will have that uh, message with the recording and the deck um, on the Yammer network tomorrow at the latest. Cloud Shorestep is, again, another fabulous program. Uh, it's designed to help you maximize your profitability. The resources, again, are organized by product and then categorized by job function or role and then by business maturity. So it kind of takes you through all those steps and helps you figure out where you fit and uh, gives you kind of a roadmap. So please check out Cloud Shorestep if you are new to the cloud world, if you will. The uh, U.S. Small and Medium Business Partner Center um, is the one place that you, um, if you are a partner that's um, operating in the small and me medium business um, space, this is the one place that you will need to go. You'll get an idea of all the upcoming events. 
So our US SMB team has a roadshow going on right now called SMB Live. You'll see all the dates and um, how you can register for these events. They're probably coming to your city. So keep um, make sure you kind of go to the Partner Center and figure out if they are and attend those events. They also have regional uh, Partner Insider calls. And of course, the online technical training, which is free until March 31st. You will also get access to the offers and incentives that are ongoing, what is the SMB or the Small and Medium Business Champs Club um, and information about that, the insider community that you can opt into, and of course, additional um, sales and marketing resources. Now, they specifically have a cloud solution provider, a CSP concierge that you will get access to through the Partner Center as well. So if you have additional questions about that, please do go check that out. If you're taking away anything from this presentation, of course, in addition to all the requirements and benefits of getting a competency, uh, this is the stay informed slide. So as a US partner, you have multiple avenues to get information and this pulls together all the resources that you have. So you can stay connected and engaged through Twitter, Facebook and or Yammer. There is um, all the different partner communities for the different products. We have um, the hot sheet, which comes in the training bucket. The hot sheet tells you um, all the in-person and online training that's coming up in the next two months. So you can plan your time according to that if you want to attend any of these events. And um, of course, for profitability, you have all your resources in one place. So make sure you know where to find the slide because this is the holy grail to kind of get you through the partner journey if you ever need support if you ever um, have questions about wpc or need any resources to build your business model and with that um, just one more plug for the next call on february 17th uh, 9 30 a.m pacific time so this is next week where we'll be talking about the enterprise mobility management competency it's the last one of this series there are a lot of good resources that we talked about today and um myra janet chris thank you for all the information i would like to open it up again for questions if you have any more questions You can also reach us on Yammer if you think of any questions later on. The deck and the recording will be posted. Thank you so much for attending the call, and I hope this was useful. Have a wonderful day.